What's up everybody? Welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. I am just about to start getting ready for tonight. I have Andy's Christmas party. Yes, I did just say Christmas in February. And I'm talking about my husband Andy. It's his Christmas dinner with work. He works in the restaurant business. They are not able to do uh, parties during busy holiday season, so they are therefore doing it in February. I love this. It happens every year and it's funny every year. So I thought that I would just turn on the camera, show you my hair and makeup while I'm in the process of getting ready, show you the outfit that I end up putting on. I really have no idea what I'm going to wear yet. It's kind of snowing on and off again outside, so we're dealing with that today. It's also ridiculously bright too, which is why I'm having a hard time looking into the camera. But if you guys want to see how this is going to go, keep on watching and subscribe subscribe to my channel if you're new. If you are, hello, welcome, I'm Trina. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna take you into my makeup room. Oh, hell no. I dropped this powder earlier. One of my favorite powders, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Powder. Not only is this good, it's expensive and now it's ruined. <laughs> Anyways, I have majority of the makeup that I'm gonna be using today in this travel bag because I packed this this morning for what I'm gonna take with me to New York on Monday. Today is Saturday. I'm trying to get ahead of the game and pack my stuff early. So I think I'm gonna use majority of this stuff in today's video, including the oh so beautiful Urban Decay Naked Reloaded Palette. This is the new Naked palette from Urban Decay. They discontinued the original one a few months ago, so I'm pretty excited about this one because it's super beautiful. I'm going to prep my skin with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I love the Magic Cream, and I'm especially excited about this because they just launched new travel sizes. This is a little baby 15 mil. And if you've never tried this cream before, not only is it super hydrating but it also gives you the best glow the next thing that i've been into is the perfect canvas from ren they call it a silicone free skin finishing serum but it's a primer i've noticed that this doesn't change the way that my foundation applies and any chance that i get to use something that doesn't have the silicone doesn't have the fragrance doesn't have the parabens i'm all about that and this is one of the clean brands that are out there right now that doesn't have any of those things that I just said for foundation I am going to use the NARS long wear sorry NARS natural radiant long wear foundation it's been like probably a month maybe maybe two months since I've used this but I feel like switching it up today using something that's a little bit lighter on the skin this one's hydrating, works really well for dry weather. Okay, I'm not gonna set my foundation just yet. I'm gonna move on to the brows because I think I wanna do my eyes first, then my concealer, then set. So let's do that. I did squats this morning and let's just say my legs are feeling really, really weak right now. I feel kind of pathetic, but I had to make sure I exercised in some way this morning because I knew I was going to be on carb overload tonight with all this pizza and pasta. I am so excited. We're going to a restaurant in Vancouver. It's downtown. It's like just on the outside of downtown. It's on Main Street. It's called Campanolo and they have, it's Italian and they have really yummy pizzas. I've never had pasta there before, but the pizzas that Andy and I had probably two years ago so good, I still talk about them. I might even take you guys along with us and show you the yummy food and uh, just kind of take you on a little date night. It is time to do the eyes now with the new Naked palette. Oh, I should have warned you, I have used it. I really like it. You can see I probably should have cleaned up the edges here for company, but that's how you know I like a palette. If it's dirty, is good. Shall I give you like a little quick review of the palette? So again, this is the new Naked palette. They discontinued the original one a few months ago because Urban Decay said that it needed a glow up, which I do kind of agree with because if you look at the original Naked palette, oh my gosh, it's beat up. I love this palette. I so love this palette. This is one of the first eyeshadow palettes. I'm pretty sure it was like the first. 
eyeshadow palette I ever purchased back in the day. You can really see which ones I used. The naked color right here was like this soft matte brown, perfect for the crease for that transition color. The half-baked, in my opinion, is like one of the best golds. It's kind of like an antique gold. I used to use it for so many Indian makeup looks back in the day. It's gorgeous and then buck right here you can see i used a lot too but what they said is they wanted to kind of keep it on trend with 2019 come out with some new shades that are more again on trend with what the looks are now and i think they hit that and i can already tell you i am going to use this one way more often because it has all the colors that i look for in a palette you have the browns over here you have some of the peachy tones it has a gold it's a little bit lighter than the original one it's called barely baked the other one's called half baked i think that's kind of cheeky i like that and notice here i just want to point this out that the outer shades these two and these two are bigger than any of the other eyeshadows like the pans are bigger than any of the other ones because urban decay assumes that those are going to be the really popular shades that you'll use most often so that if you are using them all the time they didn't want you to run out so that's why they made those ones larger i think there's so many good color combinations that you can do with these a lot of them just kind of blend into each other seamlessly the shade blur right here you can see is so close to my skin tone which i kind of love i think it'll be perfect for on top of my brow bone just adding a subtle highlight up there so naturally i want to go in with boundaries because it's the perfect orangey brown and i love these types of colors for the crease because when you use shades like this it kind of just makes everything else blend really well together because all the other shades just kind of blend effortlessly into that one shade. I think I'm actually just gonna blend this all over the lid. Now I'm gonna take the shade right next to it. Oh, almost, I almost, oh no I did. Kind of put my fingernail into that shadow. I am so rough with my eyeshadow palettes. Okay, I am going to take Bucked and pop it in the crease. You see that color, the first one, just on its own? So pretty. It's like an instant smoky eye. And I'm just using this shade to just deepen up the crease a little bit. Like I said, I totally think I will use this one more than I did the original Naked palette. Because when I looked at it, half of the palette, like the complete opposite side after Half Baked, is unused. Because I think those ones were just a little bit too cool for me. Now I'm going to take Barely Baked, the gold shimmer, and I'm just going to pop that on the lid right here, just for a little bit of brightness. Oh, that's pretty. I actually haven't really used the gold much yet. I've been kind of playing around with the other shimmers, but that's nice, actually. I really like that. Hi. Are you already filming? Yep. No. You went out with your hair like that? Do you want to show them what your hair looks like? Andy just came home from the store and he went out like this. Oh, baby! And now, I think all I really want to do is... Okay, two things. I'm going to take butt first and just tap the outsides so that there's no harsh line where the glitter stops. And now I'm going to take Endgame. It's the dark brown. It's actually the darkest shadow in the palette. It's matte, which I love because uh, I always want a dark matte brown or a dark matte black in a palette so that I can use those shades to deepen up the outer edges just like this. I'm feeling very old school with this eye. Like this is, this is me like five years ago. <laughs> This is definitely the better eye. The other one is just not looking as clean to me, but you know what? You gotta keep it moving. I'm going to, I think, actually, I do want to define the gold a little bit more. I'm gonna take this precision, there it is, this precision brush, and spritz the brush with a little bit of water. And now just go in with the gold like holy that is pigment go over the gold i don't want to go too crazy tonight like this isn't a beauty event <laughs> now i'm going to take some of my hula bronzer and hit the cheeks temples forehead with that to kind of slightly contour and just 
warm up the face. Now I'm gonna apply a little bit of blush using my Benefit Coralista. And for highlighter, I'm really into this little palette from Pure. It's, oh, it's called Sparkle and Shine Bright. It has three inside. I love the middle one because it's gold. I'll show you. Just hit the cheekbones with it. And you like, it's very powerful for just a little amount of product. It's not a chunky glitter, which I really appreciate. And now I'm gonna try out some new mascaras. These are from Marc Jacobs. Look at how pretty. Like, I just think the packaging is so sleek on that and it looks fancy. So I was sent the mascara and the mascara primer. And this is called the Velvet Primer and the Velvet Noir Major Mascara. Let's go in with the primer first. I was expecting it to be like really stark white. It's more of like a nude, like flesh tone. That's interesting. And the reason why I don't always use primers is because the white almost gives a cast, like a white cast to your lashes, and it stands out, and then I feel like the lashes aren't as dark as they could be. Ooh, I feel like that totally extended them. Like, I might get some really lengthy lashes. I'm excited. Now I'm going to go in with the mascara. Here's the wand if you're curious. The mascara I'm currently using right now is the Benefit They're Real. And it is so good. I finally tried it years after everyone was raving. Oh my goodness, those are some long lashes. It really separates the lashes, like I have a very separated look, but it kind of clumps the hairs together, if that makes sense. Because right now there's like gaps between the lashes. I'm not sure if I dig that look. It could also be because, you know, today was my first time trying it out. So for my lower lash line, I definitely got to do something. I can't have all this drama going on up here and then nothing on the lower lash line. So let's give it some love. I'm going to take a little bit of boundaries. Run that along the lower lash line. And now I'm going to use a flat smudger brush and take end game and just go over top of what I just did. Hit that lower lash line just on the outer edges with it and kind of connect it up to the top. And now for lips, I'm going to use this Charlotte Tilbury lip pencil in the shade Naomi. I need a little bit of moisture for the lips because they're a little dry right now. So I'm going to use my Fenty gloss bomb just like that much of it uh yeah if ever i'm without my lip balm and i'm out i just use this and it's super hydrating now i'm just gonna do a touch of my mac peach stock in the center oh um, okay so <laughs> i'm back i did my hair off camera i'll explain that in one second but then i came back typical trina i go and curl my lashes up one more time because that's just what i do i like really long luscious lashes and then something must have been on that lash curler because look at my eyelids <laughs> i don't even know what that was it must have been concealer concealer or foundation but i don't even see it on the lash curler you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna take this blur shadow, since it says it's blur, it might fix all my problems, and just run that over top of it. That shadow might just be my new favorite shadow, because it did, I think, kind of fix it. I hope so. Anyways, it is what it is. I think that the look came together pretty darn well, and I think it's safe to say that this is my new favorite palette. I am so excited about it and I cannot wait to continue making more uh, eyeshadow looks with it. So if you guys would like to see more looks, just definitely let me know. For the hair, I was planning on doing it on camera, but then I took a break. I stretched my legs. I was in my washroom and I was just like kind of just practicing what I was going to do on camera. And then it just kind of started to come together because the bump up here was just right. And you know that when you're doing a bump, or <laughs> if you're doing a bun and the bump is just right, like the hairs are going in the right direction, you just go with it, you put a bobby pin it, bobby pin in it, and you walk away. All right, we're just about to head out the door, so I thought I'd show you my outfit now. It's not the best lighting, but I might get another shot for you on the way. I have on this sweater from Oak and Fort. It is the most comfortable sweater ever, and I've worn it so many times since I purchased it. This is definitely worth the money. I have some pleather pants from Zara. They have a pocket in the front like this. 
And then these boots from Zara also. They're snakeskin. Super comfortable, but I feel like they kind of dress the outfit up. Andy, are you ready? Well, aren't you looking sharp? You know, we try to keep sharp as a tack. This is a pocket square. Dip. I was going to say that. I need to go buy a new white one. Oh my gosh, we have that yellow microfiber on our KitchenAid. Oh, oh that. my gosh. We have <laughs> And now we enter a Vancouver institution, aka the Keeper. Yeah, I get new with this with the lights and the sirens. <laughs> feel wonderful but I definitely ate too much so that is the end of the video we're on our way home we're walking home I hope you guys like this video just get ready with me if you did give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe if you're new there's always noises around here yeah. come back next week for a brand new video <laughs> this is scaring me I don't know what is oh that's it thank you for watching I'll see you in the next one bye Good night.